today's Friday evening service. This is TMG because by so doing, your testimony will locate you. Please, I'd like us to stand up as we start the service. Our God has been so faithful to us. He has kept us. He has provided for us. I want us to lift up our hands and give him a wave of I appreciate him for his love and mercy upon our life. I appreciate him for his goodness. He has been so faithful. I appreciate this good God. Bless the Lord. There are so many reasons for you to appreciate him. Oh my if soul. you think back from January to now, you cannot that count the blessings. I appreciate this good God. Give him me. thanks. Bless I appreciate him. Worship him. Please. Honor his name. Please. Reverence him. For he's a good God. He he's a kind God. He's an awesome God. I appreciate this good God. He has been so faithful. Even when you were not faithful, he remained faithful to you. I appreciate this good God. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness upon our lives. We appreciate you, Lord. We give you praise. We honor your name. We glorify you, Lord. For you are an awesome God. You are a marvelous God. We appreciate you, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I appreciate this good God. Great things. Worship him. Ask him to cleanse you from sweeping balls. 
the blessings that follows the sacrifice of the prophets through the prophet will look at you today I want you to pray for the Lord, prophets Jesus we thank you Jesus to give you praise thank you for our father me. prophet Thomas I know you Teach me Jesus thank you for you to know this your life way life. And thank you for you this evening don't get tired come on keep on celebrating him the king of kings the great I am that I am if you know you're grateful for life if you know you're grateful for our father the Lord has brought you give the Lord a shout of praise
your praise give Jesus your praise give Jesus your praise come on somebody worship the Lord for the things that he has done for you come on give God the praise lift your voice and worship him worship the name of Jesus
to fill this room with worship. If you know truly deep down in your heart that you mean every word that you've said. Come on somebody, lift up your hands and fill this room with worship. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you love him. Everyone in this building, those in the overflow, those watching online, open up your mouth and tell him how much you love your God. Simple song can say, You Lord, you are worthy, and no one can worship you for all the things you've done for me. I don't know about you. to tell you is my worship a part of my worship but there is in my worship a part of my worship everybody say you love God come on church everyone
zolenei se capuria hanta legadesia e capanta leda dos Jesus Abraham ta legades e anamado chata e arabadosia we appreciate you appreciate him come on somebody appreciate him references references holy name Jesus we thank you Jesus we give you praise Jesus we honor you appreciate him appreciate him appreciate him to show us mercy. Ask the Lord to show us mercy. Ask the Lord to multiply his mercy upon your life. Ask the Lord to multiply his peace. Jesus be merciful. Turn unto us and be merciful as he used to do to them that love your holy name. Jesus will love your holy name. Turn unto us and be merciful. Jesus be merciful. Jesus be merciful. Sprinkle your clean water upon us. Wash us clean. Wash us clean from every filthiness. Wash us clean from fathers as idols. Wash us clean from mothers as idols. Jesus be merciful. Jesus be merciful. Jesus be merciful. Jesus be merciful. Turn unto us and be merciful. Turn unto us and be merciful. As you used to do to them that love your holy name. Jesus will love your holy name. Ask the Lord to show you mercy. Ask the Lord to show you mercy. Ask the Lord to show you mercy. 
It is by the mercies of God that you are not consumed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now may you rise up above your enemies. In the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated in His presence. I want to thank my father, Senior Prophet Morgan, for giving me this wonderful awesome privilege to stand before you this evening i want you to celebrate him celebrate grace celebrate him you can do better than that yes you can do better than that thank you today i want to open our eyes to something that a lot of us are neglecting. The most important aspect of Christianity. Our father has been teaching us for some time now. Last year, trying to connect to God from the wrong mindset. Please, I want you to turn your Bible with me to the book of John chapter 4. In verse number 23 and 24. John 4, 23, 24. Hallelujah. The scripture says, it said the hour. Thank you. It said, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is even looking for people who can worship him in truth and in spirit. God is looking for those kind of people. Verse 24. He said, God is a spirit. Touch your neighbor, say, God is a spirit. Touch your neighbor, tell him, say, God is a spirit. He said, God is a spirit. And they that must worship him, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. They that must worship this God must worship him in spirit and in truth. Every one of us here, we are spirit being. We live in the body and we possess a soul. God can never be connected to this body God will always be connected to the spirit man which is your inner man we, we can connect to God without us connecting to him through his spirit Jesus was telling his disciples he said it is expedient the word expedient means it is good that I go away because if I did not go the comforter who is the helper? Who I will send in my name? He will not come. And who is that comforter? Who is that helper? The Holy Spirit. A lot of us are trying to connect to God with our carnal mind. The Bible says a carnal mind is a enmity against God. It can never be subject to control. How to put yourself in subjection and bring it under myself. Try to put it in order. Hallelujah. There is absolutely no way we can connect to this God without we having a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Most of us are getting it all wrong. We are coming to church, going home, coming to church. But the primary thing that we need to do, which is 
accepting and receiving the Holy Spirit, we neglect it. All we want is just to get what God wants to give us. We want money, we want cars, we want houses. The person that God has placed on us, there are things that God has given to us that we cannot have access to unless we are connected to the Spirit. Media, please give me 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. There are things that God has given to us that we cannot have access to until we are connected to the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. He said, but as it is written, I had not seen, nor ear heard, Neither have entered into the heart of man the things, somebody say the things, the things which God has prepared for them that love him. It means there are 30 things that God has prepared for you and I, but because we fail to connect to the Holy Spirit, we cannot have access to them. Verse 10, please give me verse 10. You see, verse 10, you see, but God has revealed them unto us by his Spirit. He said, for the Spirit searcheth all things, not some things, all things. Yeah, the deep things of God. A woman came to me and she said, her husband is working in Baeza. I was telling some people this story that all of a sudden, the husband came back home and ask her to leave the house with two children. And I asked the woman, what did you do? She said she did not do anything. The man just came that evening and threw her out and threw the children out and begin to pack the bag, their bags and throw them out. So some neighbors came, they were trying to beg, but the man refuses to listen to all the neighbors. The woman with the two children sat outside till late. A good Samaritan, which is one of the neighbors, came and bring them in into the house. The next day, they summoned some people to come and beg the man. The man said, over his dead body, he will never allow this woman and these two children to enter the house. And I asked the woman again, what did you do? The woman said, ah, Pastor, I didn't do anything. I said, okay. And, and with the two children, and she's pregnant. Guess what I did? I consulted the Holy Spirit. And I said, he said, come, let me take you. He took me again to a shrine. And he said, I want to sign and see visions because that is the promise. But because we are carnal in our mindset, we cannot receive the Holy Spirit. And that is why we find it difficult to assess the things according to the scripture that God has prepared for us. God took me to the woman went to the man. The woman went to the man. He already visited an herbalist. It was even the herbalist that told him the strategy that he will use to enter the man. And the man said, okay, okay, I will follow you. The woman convinced him and he said he will follow him and they follow him. And he followed the, follow her to the shrine, the Babalawo place. And when they got there, thank you, Jesus. And when they got there, the man already prepared a necklace and a broom, a sweeping broom, a normal sweeping broom. The man already walked and made a lot of a shaman and incantation and did whatever he did. That as long as this man, if this man take this broom home and use this broom to sweep the house, that is how he will sweep his family out of the house and he will bring the strange woman to the house. This woman has been suffering this very issue for six months. He was, she was living in her parents' house, in her mother's house. Why? The strange woman is enjoying her home. After everything said and done, the man now gave the, the Babala will now give the man the necklace and wore him. And he gave him the broom. It's a very short broom. I said, where you go? He said, what I'm seeing now, there is a woman that came to visit you. And when the woman came to visit you, the woman brought something and dropped the thing in your house. So what's the, the purpose of this broom now? You have to go home the next day. You will use this broom to sweep the house. 
As you sweep the house, you have sweep that evil thing that the woman brought away. Somebody say spiritual setup. The man gave him the broom. The man left. And the next day he went home. Everything about the man changed. If he sees the wife and children, he, he, he's just getting angry, unnecessary, just angry. He said they should leave the house. He used the broom and swept the house. After sweeping the house, and the Lord says, let me show you something. As soon as he sweep the house, as soon as he dropped the broom, the spirit that he invoked inside that broom entered the man, and the man began to manifest. And there was no way anybody could talk to that man to bring the wife and the children home until there is a divine intervention. After washing all the sins, see me like this, if he carry collapse, even pursue who carry me, come back. I said, don't worry. God revealed to redeem. I encouraged her and I prayed with her. After praying with her, I said, in less than seven days, your husband that does not want to see you will look for you to your mother's house and will begin to beg you. She left with unbelief. She didn't even believe what I have told her. Why? Because she has run to so many places for the six months and there has not been solution. She left reluctantly. But I already did what God asked me to do. And I defy the power that the man raised to shift her out of the house. I went there the night. I, I prayed and I decreed. I said, you this woman, you this Babalao, in the name that is above every other name, this place is not your place. It belongs to the woman. Now I command you with all your juju and everything that you have done, pack and go. I was commanding them, they packed everything and left. After four days, the woman called me, my phone was ringing. Pastor Peter, Pastor Peter, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband. One more time, neck by hero, 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 neck by hero. She was very happy. He says, I'm talking to you now. I just came outside to call you because my husband and two of his brothers and one of his friends, they are inside our house. I came to call you. Should I follow him? So this is your question. <laughs> okay, I say okay. You know what? You will not follow him. You don't say you don't suffer small so. Now power, pass power. I say you find your console. You come make shakara small. You know follow and go today. Eh? You go wait. The next day, you go call him. Go come again. You go come with moto. You go beg, pack you. Then you go your house. The next day, did he follow the woman? Did he follow the man? He said, okay, they have heard. The man came back again, begging again the next day. And they forgive him. And God restored that home back to normal. Now, do you know how, why God restored the home? It was power, torso that was in place. Power, jam power, and the lesser power, power down before the uh, ultimate power. You know why? Why I'm telling you this story is because the Spirit of God is power. So if you have the Spirit of God, there is, there is power that is working on the inside of you. Now, if you don't have the Spirit of God, you are powerless. Most of we Christians are powerless. We don't have power. And that is why when they are oppressing us, how can witches be oppressing you? How can witches be oppressing you? And you are running to church, from church to church because of witches that are oppressing you. When God has given you most of the things that you are asking God to do for you is in the Holy Spirit which is the power of God. Ephesians 3 verse 20. Ephesians 3 verse 20. The Bible says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or even think of according to the power 
that worketh in you. What is that power that worketh in you? If the, the Holy Spirit that is at work in you, that is the power of God that brings the things to fruition. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. It is a yesterday. Look at the scripture. Please display that scripture for me again. It said, Now unto him that is able, me God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. Meaning, if you ask God for 100,000, meaning God can even give you 100 billion. That is what the scripture is saying. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think of according to the power that worketh in you. You need to activate the power of God in you to be able to connect to God. And so you can be able to do exploits. All this barrier, all these things that they place before you, it is the power of God that is at work in you that can break them. And then you can assess the blessing that is in front of you. Don't just come to church because people are coming to church. The Holy Spirit is the custodian, is the one that is in charge of the affair of God's kingdom on earth. Now, if you despise the Holy Spirit, how can you connect to God? Which is the beginning we said God is a spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that gives you that authority that you need to be able to see beyond the natural. You cannot be a Christian and you are just dreaming and some of you are not even remembering your dream. That's shame being a child of God. You can dream and you don't even remember the dream. You sh- As a child of God, you should be able to stand here and be in Lagos, be in Abuja, be in Portaco, be in everywhere, assessing everywhere. Why? Because the spirit of the living God is at work in you. All the teachings that our Father are teaching us, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot be able to bring them to fruition in order to walk along. You say, your body is the temple. You have to do this. You have to do that. The Father says self-control. See, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, it says, for as many that are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons and daughters of God. So it also means that if you are not led by the Holy Spirit, you are not the child of God. The reason why they cannot get a true child of God, if you plant something for here for them, it will pass here for more. If you plant that for them, it will pass here for more. If you plant a random, God will see make a way, go pass and come out. Do you know why? It is because He has the Holy Spirit. He said the wind blows. You are hearing the sound of the wind, but you can never tell where the wind is coming from. It says, so is he that is born of the water and of the spirit. So if you are a child of God and you want to activate or work with this active grace that is available, you need to be connected to the things of the spirit. Because if you cannot connect to the Holy Spirit, it means that you cannot access the active grace that is at work in TMG. few weeks ago, we were praying and God revealed something to me. And again, this evening, God was telling me. The Holy Spirit was showing me some things. It took me to a coven. And when I got to those gatherings, I saw every one of them sat in the circle. And the Holy Spirit said, watch what they are doing. In front of each and every one of them that was sitting inside that coven, there is a short half tree that they caught. And this short half tree is like decaying. And, and every one of them sat in a round table. And in the middle of them, there's a bigger one of that same tree that they put in the middle. And the Lord said, look. And all of a sudden, the one they call a gekben. Let me, that's what they call it in the rubble. There's someone that always sap coven. I'm be the boss. I be the one be seen. I be served the coven. He appeared and came, and all of a sudden he 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 made some kind of enchantment, 
And all of a sudden, on top of that tree, that they call that half tree, I saw bread, I saw apple, I saw different kind of looking at him. And the Lord said, look at what he's going to do. To a fast food, anywhere they are selling anything, what you are going to do, I am sending you on assignment to pollute from your own money. Go buy something where they don't pollute unknown to you. And that is why the Lord said to me, say there are a lot of you here today that have problem with your stomach. Step into the case. And he told the friend, he said, see, I'm seeing you in the road in Asaba. Along the road, there's a place where they are selling fruit. You bought fruit. And the guy was very angry, you know, because they are talking to him. He said, yes, I buy, I, okay, I remember, I buy fruit. Okay. And the people perish. Now, it's the same thing I, 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 as God was showing me that in my mind went back to what our father said to me. The end. I'm sure that there is this unusual pain in your stomach. It's not ordinary because you said you don't have to take drugs, you don't tire. But the blessing they pay you. You know the way they can they pay you. As many of you, as many of you that can speak in tongues, please in this few minutes, I want you to post up the tongues. Pastors, I want you to pray in the spirit. I want you to pray in the spirit. There is a cloud of trouble. There are clouds of trouble that they raise against the project of the glory land. There is a cloud of trouble that they raise an evil agenda against the project of the glory land. I want you to pray in the spirit in the next 10 minutes.
to give our offering. I want you to get a good offering to honor God. I want you to speak a word to that offering. The Holy Spirit is in you now. It's at work in you. I want you to speak to that offering. Send it an error. What do you want God to do for you? The Holy Spirit is available, is in you. Speak to that offering. You might be expecting something. You have been waiting. You have been expecting. This is the time to, to receive. Because the Holy Spirit is in you now. Lata pras klando molide has rege lido host klandos. Lata pras klido host. Regelido molida has lata pras klandos. Regelido host lata pras klandos. Regelido molida has klandos. Lata pras klandos. Regelido molida has lata pras klandos. Rege molide has. Speak a word to your offering. Send the offering an error. Speak a word to that offering. Thank you. We give a praise. Thank. You. In the name of God the Father, God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray.